Hi, welcome to Smellomania, a perfume review channel with a twist. I'm not going to dissect the fragrances note by note here, but instead I'll be drawing what I smell. If you're interested in such a fusion of art and perfumery, then keep on watching. Today I'll be reviewing a fragrance by Hermetica called Sandalson. Let's jump right in with my first impressions. It's pure hazelnut lover's paradise. If it wasn't enough, that tiny nut is drowning in sweet, delicious whipped cream. <laughs> this smell belongs to a perfume category called gourmand, meaning that it feels like something completely edible. Sandalson feels very comforting and warm, and it would be very easy to wear for someone who loves fragrances that are on the sweeter side. When I was contemplating about what could represent such a lovely juice, I was torn between two very serious options. Would the hazelnut be bathing in whipped cream, or would the whipped cream be on top of the nut? Well, I chose the first one simply because the hazelnut note dies off to a minimum in an hour or so after spring and mainly vanilla sweetness remains. After the whole day of wearing this fragrance, you could still detect the hazelnuts, however, they wouldn't be prominent like just after spraying. This lovely edible fragrance is unisex, just like all of the fragrances I review. It could be considered a bit feminine because of the sweetness, however, if you're a guy and you love gourmand smells, you could easily pull this one off. Easily. The very first blast meets you with a very distinctive note of roasted hazelnuts. There's just no way to interpret it any differently. It's simply edible. A few minutes later, a bit of dusty sweetness emerges. I chose to represent it as cream, but it could also be nougat. Or imagine, you buy a bar of Mars chocolate, minus the chocolate, it's just the filling. Sweet, hazelnutty, nougat, caramel filling. It's very cozy and just perfect for cold autumn days or winter holidays. So that was it for Hermetica Sandelson. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the other one the next week. Bye!